Hi everybody, I'm Tim Flagler. I'm up here on the Salmon River in Pulaski, New York uh, with Douglas Outdoors. It's late spring, early summer, and we're fishing for smallmouth bass today. The bass, they've been in, they've kind of done their spawning thing, and most of them are heading back out to Lake Ontario. And I just wanted to go through some of the flies that, that I like to use for this time of year for smallmouth. They, they really shouldn't be a shock to anybody. Uh, very, very common flies. I don't like to go crazy with it, but um, probably uh, one of the most common, most effective flies ever is the woolly bugger. And it, you know, a woolly bugger can imitate a leech. It can imitate a bait fish, a whole bunch of things. Certain types of larger aquatic macro invertebrates, but here for whatever reason, uh, they, they like them in white, but black in olive. Uh, fishing this one weightless, uh, swung usually off a sink tip line. Uh, so so no, no weight to it and just is, it always works on smallmouth. Um, second one, also real common, a fly originally designed for smallmouth, but uh, it has gotten to be known as a saltwater pattern. It's a uh, uh, Bob Clouser's Clouser Minnow. And I really like this, this color combination. Chartreuse on the back, a little bit of pearl crystal flash, and then a white belly. So it looks like many of the natural bait fish that we find in, in, the, in rivers like Salmon River. Uh, darker on the back, lighter on the belly with that little bit of shimmer in there, uh, like, like the scales. Um, and does a remarkable job uh, of imitating so many of the bait fish that are here in the river. And the, the dumbbell eyes, allow for kind of a jiggy motion like this that, that the smallmouth just can't resist. Virtually any fish can't resist it. So those are just kind of more suggestive patterns. The other thing that, that Salmon River is known for is it has a lot of crayfish in here. And so this, this pattern, one of my favorites, uh, not only for smallmouth, but for trout as well, uh, is John Barr's meat whistle. And it, really is a great imitation of a crayfish. Lots and lots of crayfish here in the Salmon River and the smallmouth eat them like crazy. It, it's one of their primary food sources. And so the, the, the bar's meat whistle kind of in this rusty brown looks a lot like the crayfish. Nice heavy fly, but uh, it's tied on a jig hook. So in a very rocky river like this one, it doesn't get snagged as often as, as most flies do that would ride hook point down. This rides hook point up. Plus, just like the Clouser Minnow, because it's on a jig hook and there's weight up front, it has this really nice motion to it and does an incredible job of imitating the crayfish that are in the river and they're perfect forage food for the smallmouth bass. This one's a little different. Uh, this is a, um, it's called a conehead bunny muddler. Not the funnest fly in the world to tie, uh, mainly because of its deer hair collar. Uh, you kind of have to get that just right. But it, it does a remarkable job of imitating a leech. And uh, again, leeches here in the, in the Salmon River are very, very common and the smallmouth eat them uh, almost constantly. So, so a leech is always a great pattern to have. This black rabbit fur, when it gets underwater, just a ton of movement, little bit of flash there. This one's nice and heavy and, and works particularly well on the swing with, with say a small trout spay rod, you know, something four or five weight trout spay rod, 11 foot or so, a real fun fly to swing. Last fly I've got, and a and, uh, little different, but there are you know, plenty of bass that will take topwater, and smallmouth here in Salmon River are one of them. And so any kind of popper really, anything to aggravate the fish into, into taking, um, taking the fly. And you know, whether it imitates an, an insect, a frog, uh, a wounded bait fish on the water surface, it just, if you strip it and, and pop it, it sprays a bunch of water, uh, just causes a ton of commotion, really announces its presence and uh, most of the time it just gets them angry enough that they're going to take a bite at it. So that's that's five flies. You know, I know it's nothing really special, nothing you haven't heard of before, but uh, they're great patterns to carry just about anywhere um, and here included.